Hello everyone. We are here with more stuff from Summer Game Fest. Uh, and next up, Damiani got to check out Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Lower the volume on the mics, baby. <laughs> Dra yeah. So this is uh, something that fans have been wanting for a long time. A new entry in the Tenkaichi Budokai series. Hell yeah. Um, this is the, the newest installment. It is a lot of what you would expect, but they're also doing a little bit different here. So there's some definitely some familiar things. I got to say one thing. During the presentation when they're introducing the game, I think they play like the opening video for like the opening of the game. Rock the Dragon played Hell and yeah. everyone clapped <laughs> in the audience. Hell so yeah. I don't know if it's going to be in the final game, but that's like something that like not just Dragon Ball, but like Naruto, like classic. the license, the classic licensed music, getting it in there. Hell Even yeah. if it's just for the presentation, I'll take that as a win. I can take it as a big win. Now I just gotta get like some of the other greats in there. And, uh, yeah, uh, head chala. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it is um, up to like one to two players. So it's it's like one on one battle. So it's not like a team based game. Yeah. If you're not familiar with the format, uh, there's some new modes this time around. And the big one I think that uh, a lot of people are gonna be interested in is the the episode battles. Which is what they were touting, like the kind of like what if scenarios okay, where yeah. it is recreations of like some of the iconic fights. Um, it's f most famous fights for eight different characters, um, spans from the start of DBZ all the way into Super. Um, they started with Goku versus Raditz. Hell yeah. The, um, the, the cinematic beginning. intros the and outros for everything. So you're getting that, you know, the VIP treatment. Um, and then the what if decisions, um, they can offer branching paths. It's pretty binary though, from what I what they showed. You either get the canonical choice and you proceed as usual, or you get the alternate choice and you see if things might play differently. Mm, okay. um, they didn't, uh, so they did not show us the what if choice. Um, they did mention the B roll. There would be footage of the what if choice, but I don't know like how it plays out. They did the canonical choice when they did Raditz, as well as the fight uh, with uh, Pic when Piccolo shows up. Yeah. So you work with you decide Piccolo shows up in your decision. Do you work with him and go it alone? Yeah. Uh, to go against Raditz, and you decide the canon choice. Let's fight together, like you yeah. see in the trailer. Yeah. So it's Raditz versus Piccolo and Goku. And there's different victory conditions uh, for the different matches. So imagine the what if situations, there might be something different than you're used to. So it's kind of like curious to see that, but obviously you have to wait for. Yeah. Um, you can switch out characters mid battle. So if you do have an extra character in the episode, like Piccolo and Goku, you could uh, change them out. And sorry, it's not 1v1. I totally lied at the beginning. Um, it's one to two players for something else. I'll get to it in a second. But uh, you could switch out in the episode mode, and later when I get to versus mode, you actually pick three characters, so it's 3v3 three three oh, on okay. that. I'm sorry for getting that wrong. Uh, but the best part of this is you can watch all these episodic battles play out in first or third person mode. Oh, so you get to cool. see the... Uh, yeah, you, person? Yeah, so you get to see Piccolo shoot you while you're That's Goku awesome. holding Raditz. You get this, yeah, you get to feel it in first feel person. That. Special beam cannon Hell in first yeah. person. He's like, <laughs> they're like, do you want to feel like what it's like to take Hell it? Yeah. yeah, here you go. VR version. Yep. Coming up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then the other thing they showed off that we, did, they, we didn't get hands-on on the episodic battles or episode battles. We also did not get hands-on the custom battles. Custom battles is a new mode where you can create, play, and share battle scenarios. So you can. there's an edit mode. They went through some of the tools. There's a whole bunch of settings. There's also a bunch of presets if you Napa just want to get something Frieza, simple. Baby. Yeah. So you can change like some of the on-screen text as well. So like what it shows uh, during like the opening um, to give it more of like that like you, know, like you know custom feel and yeah you create those and you share them with other people and they can download them I just assume and like start playing them as well. So some people might create some really epic scenarios in there, but this is Crazy. something fun they wanted to do for fans to anything that's never really been done in the anime manga there or any games like here's your chance to create those battle situations that you've always wanted to do totally. and then they do have local multiplayer i know this is this information was public before but to reiterate
reiterate, uh, it's restricted to the hyperbolic time chamber only for the stage. And it is split screen. It will be available at like the special early access window for pre- whatever pre-order or whatever that's going to be, and as well as launch. So one stage, split screen for local, and that's it. So I'm seeing some people not, you know, that might be the one thing that's yeah. like, ah, uh, hopefully they, maybe they can work something out down the line with a patch update. Yeah. But then we got to get hands-on with versus mode, which is like mm. what you expect. It's the pick three characters, mm-hmm. pick three enemies. You could randomize if you want. Um, so pretty standard stuff. You got like your health meter. You got your key gauge. The sparking is when you hold down the, the key charge and yeah. you go, ah, and it goes beyond. It starts flashing and vibrating. And then you can do like a special, you know, sparking move. Uh, so going beyond is what they called it. Uh, you have like uh, <laughs> these count numbers and these icons that tell you you can like like Frieza. For example, Frieza can transform into Golden Frieza. Yeah. Uh, so you get like transformations you can have, and then you can change out to a character as long as you have that like uh, that icon or count available for you. So it's like you, you sometimes will be locked out of it if you don't have it. Um, yeah. It, you you know bunch of cool stages they had like the field they had the city they had like the out in the canyons they had you know um World tournament they had Namek, uh namic i went i played on namic first thing went to namic uh <laughs> they have the islands yeah world Every- tournament also play wherever Every- disappointment here's the shout point no napa playable yeah, unacceptable unacceptable disrespect. <laughs> absolute disrespect give me that super saiyan napa yeah but i mean they had a wide berth of characters i mean I would say at least a third to maybe 40% of the characters were variations of Goku and uh, Vegeta. But, I mean, yeah. Like, they had all the Gokus from DBZ onward yeah. up to, like, su- like, you know, SSJ, SS3, Blue Hair, yeah. Blue Hair Vegeta. Um, they had, uh, like, Gogeta. Uh, they had Trunks, Future Trunks. They had Yum, They had Yum, but not Nap. Not, not, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure Nappa's in it, dude. I'm sure it's every yeah. character ever in the anime. Krillin. Uh, or Tian, but Tenshin for if you watch yeah. G- uh, Japanese. Um, yeah, they had uh, Gohan, and then for villains, they had like they had like Frieza. They had uh, well Piccolo, who's also a good guy. Um, Majin Buu. Um, they did not have like um, they had Broly, and they had uh, uh, and uh, the androids in there. Doctor Garo. Uh, who else did they have? They had like one other. I'm like forgetting, but like. Curious. Yeah, Be- they had Beerus in there, and yeah, so it was like a good, you know, range of characters just to try out for it. And yeah, it's like very fast paced. Um, like there's, you know, you have defensive moves. Like you have to like, you know, you could like circle around. There's ascend and descend. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of options you could tweak to make it like very like auto combos if you want or mm-hmm. auto guard. So if you really need help and just want to have fun, they have those settings there for you. I tried it with that. I actually preferred it without some of those on because it felt a little bit more restrictive for like timing wise. I'm like, no, it's not doing it when I want it to do it. So let's take the, you know, training wheels off and let me have like, you know, the real yeah. controls. You have like the rush down. Where you do the like that yeah. three hit combo and what it's about send the them dodges, flying. dude. I remember that shit being OP, but then I, they eventually like limited how often you yeah, can do it. Yeah, it's like it's not you it's, like teleport behind. And then you have that ability, teleport. but like you can't just keep spamming it, yeah, and it's yeah. very like limited in its use. And you also like you're blocking, like yeah. you have that like like grab. It's not a grab. I mean, it's a grab, but you can just if you see them blocking, you just hit the grab combo of buttons, and you just you know go through their your defense. And also some hits, you know. You know, you get uh, get around on them. It's like, yeah, you're not gonna, you gotta, you, your block might not be able to block. I'm not c- sure about that, but it did feel like you could get around people. You could spam key blast as well, but that uses up your key. So I mean, it's really only when you want to. Like, I'm not high level, but obviously you want to keep pressure and keep spacing to you know build up time for you to charge up. But yeah, doing Kamehameha was sick. Like all their like, yeah, it had all really good finishers. Well, super cinematic, super flashy. Like it was all, it was the English dub, but you know, history, respect, legacy yeah. there. Both options are available. And man, it just looks good. Looks good. Sounds good. Um, yeah, it's really for me, and I think a lot of people, it's that episode, uh, the episode mode, and how that what if scenarios really play stuff. out. And mm-hmm. if like it has enough staying power with that. Yeah. And the rest of the roster. something new with the story. Yeah, it, like it's just fun. It. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, and hopefully the like the rest of the soundtrack is just on point because this series has a legendary soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Sick. Thank you, Damiani, and thank you to everybody for watching. Uh, this is just part of all of our summer game fest stuff. Uh, so be sure to get to that playlist. Check out everything we've been playing. 
from the show. We've got more coming. Uh, and uh, if you like everything that we've been doing, all the coverage we've had, uh, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash easy allies. Go over there, check that out, consider becoming a member and uh, see all the rewards that we've got there at the different tiers. Thank you and see you soon.